until last week, it was thought this parliamentary meeting could have been the setting for a showdown between the Malaysian government and the opposition. The new Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin and several MPs left the governing coalition in February, triggering a collapse of the previous government. The Prime Minister at that time, Mahathir Mohamad, resigned, refusing to work with the new alliance, which would have included the United Malays National Organization, a party that was defeated in the last election amid a string of corruption allegations. Earlier this month, Mahathir, who says he still has majority support, proposed a motion of no confidence against the Prime Minister. But the government has limited the agenda to just the King's opening speech, citing efforts to contain the spread of the coronavirus. During the last uh, February, uh, we are without a government for two weeks and we have lost two precious weeks uh, in terms of lockdown or in terms of strategy how to combat this pandemic. Uh, so I, I support the government decision uh, to limit uh, one day sitting of parliament just to avoid any excessive politicking among the politicians. Opposition politicians accused the Prime Minister of being afraid of a no-confidence vote. We cannot accept the excuse that we can only meet for two hours because of the coronavirus pandemic. Muhyiddin had postponed the original parliament session from March 9th, eight days after he was sworn in as Prime Minister. Analysts say he's been shoring up support since. The Prime Minister keeps his coalition partners loyal by rewarding them with political powers. For example, the Chief Minister positions in the state of Johor and Malacca. MPs have also been appointed to important positions in government-linked companies or made special envoys. Over the weekend, parties in the governing alliance said they would formalise their lose coalition. The next parliament sitting will take place in July. And with the Speaker of the Lower House having accepted a proposal for a no-confidence motion against the Prime Minister, it is expected that a showdown can still take place in Parliament later this year. Malaysia's political drama is far from over. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.